you give us an overview of a short-term impact finance fund? Yeah, I think, again, uh, the short-term impact is, is really focusing on your impact framework that you have to set up out front. So you have to decide up front. So to be impact, clearly, you, you can't be extractive type of materials like mining, minerals, uh, uh, looking at oil and gas, fracking, those type of industries, tobacco, um, that you want to avoid. So uh, impact type of transaction that we've done is one of them would be we focus on a, a quite a big export of uh, raisins from the, the, the Northern Cape uh, going to market there. Um, so that is uh, literally sort of creating employment, uh, was, uh, job creation was one of the main criteria there. But over about the job creation is was to focus literally on uh, providing sort of a value add for, for the product there. So obviously raisins would be grapes, it's dried, it needs to be sorted, packed. And South African raisins, for example, fits very well to uh, the U.S. market, very similar to the California type of raisins, so the golden uh, raisins there. And again, we created a sort of quite a bigger industry there on the export side. I think obviously in that secondary impact is a lot of those women and people working in those type of factories uh, didn't have jobs. And, uh, you know, there's some testimonies on, the, on their website, which, which uh, you guys can go and see where you know some of the people will be sending their kids to school for the first time that they couldn't afford before. Can you speak to your strategy there? It's a, a key focus for us and, and that strategy would be to focus more on the, uh, the call it the DFI markets and, 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 and people that want to make really a difference uh, in, in these type of countries and markets on a sustainable basis. So we've defined sort of job creation as, as a key metrics that, uh, that need to be addressed all across Africa. We think we, you know, since we started, we've done probably uh, a huge amount of those type of transactions out there creating that sort of sustainable project, but not everybody is aware of that. Uh, secondly, I think the, the other big factor is, uh, and will remain one of our core sort of, sort of features is uh, agricultural food security. So food security, again, it's uh, something that everybody assumes is there until there's some issues with countries and droughts, uh, and that's a key focus for it to go forward. I think gender inequality is a big thing, especially in the African continent. If you look at uh, the amount of women out there being very uh, sort of a big part of the, the informal economy, doing a lot of the what we've seen in specifically the packing, sorting, uh, a lot more effective than sort of the male counterparts uh, to be able to do that type of uh, functions. So uh, that's, that's sort of our me main sort of key criteria. And then the last one is obviously what we always started, and that's how Barack started, was access to capital for SMEs. Uh, the SME market is a massive market out there, it's a growing market, uh, and nobody's really looking at that gap uh, to providing, sort of linking that SMEs to the, the global world out there.